baby turtles taking their very first steps. An incredible scene now more common on French shores than ever before. Since 2006, turtle nest sightings have been on the rise along France's Mediterranean coastline. But this new breeding ground comes with risks, greater exposure to humans. Outside the city of Antibes, this rehabilitation center has seen the arrival of dozens of injured sea turtles. Marina, a juvenile, is their latest patient. She was hit by a boat propeller. Clear example of the impact of human activities. You can see her long hair right under the shell. We had to find a way to stitch the shell back together and make it watertight before we can release her into the sea. Every week, an exotic species surgeon keeps track of her recovery. How's our friend? Great, making progress. We have seen an influx of new patients we didn't have before. Aside from a few diving trips on holiday, I had never seen sea turtles before. And now I'm being asked to care for these patients on a regular basis. Contact with humans has to be minimal, but today Marina is undergoing some final laser therapy sessions. This device sends a very powerful light beam that will accelerate the scarring process. Even though the shell isn't very pretty, it's functional. It will finish healing on its own without our help. Part of a center's mission is to identify threats to turtle populations. The autopsies of those that didn't make it can provide clues. Sea turtles act as biological indicators of the health of the environment they live in. Whatever we find in their stomachs will tell us about pollution levels. For every single turtle we've analyzed, we found plastic waste in their stomach. It's horrific, but it can also tell us about what's working. For example, ever since plastic straws were banned, we found fewer of them in their stomach. That's encouraging. In recent years, protecting the species has also meant keeping their nests safe. Loggerhead turtles rarely leave the water, except the females once every two to three years to lay their eggs. A rare moment caught here on camera by lucky bystanders in the south of France. It usually happens at night, and a single nest can hold up to 150 eggs. For scientists, meanwhile, their arrival on these shores remains a mystery. Adult turtles are known to hatch in Greece, Turkey and Libya, not in France. Spain and Italy have seen the same phenomena. We think turtles are testing new sites to lay their eggs, further north. We call them explorer species. This new phenomenon, however, has forced French authorities to adapt. A security perimeter around nests is now the norm and will stay in place until the baby turtles embark on a treacherous journey to reach the sea. Day and night, NGOs and scientists keep guard. I'm here to check if any eggs hatched last night, so I'm looking for any traces they might have left on the sand. The embryos normally grow for 45 to 65 days, but if temperatures are low, Hatching can even occur after 76 days. Biologist Sidonie Cato takes over at 2 a.m. The cage protects the nest. You can see the size of the mesh is large enough for small turtles to return to the sea freely, but it's also secure enough to protect them from potential predators. Then we have a camera that will get triggered if hatching begins and alert our phones in real time so we know it's happening. For this nest located in the Saint-Tropez area, the happy news came on October 5th, after 77 long days of incubation. Scientists can only know for certain that three baby turtles left their shells behind. This year, around 10 nests were identified, up from a single sighting in 2008. But it will take several more seasons to determine if conditions are truly optimal here for the next generations. <laughs>